Well, hey there, this is Bakari Shivanu with Mac Automation Tips. I'm finally back with another video, and this one's about my amazing Marvin workflow. I have got this workflow down to a T, and I want to show you what it looks like. So stick around and check it out. So you know that I work with Amazing Marvin. I've been doing it for like a couple of years now. I think this is my second year with it. And I have got my workflow down so that I can explain it in kind of three easy steps. So let's kind of go over this. And I'm going to use kind of a slideshow just to talk about it. This is really great for people who are familiar with, you know, Amazing Marvin and want to kind of have an idea of a workflow they could use. And or if you're new to Amazing Marvin, this also could help. And I want to remind you that I also do coaching for Amazing Marvin, too. So this is something that I explain to my students when they sign up. But I want to also do a video about it so you can kind of get a sense of what that workflow looks like. Because I think it really works for me anyway. There are a lot of other methods around on how to use this or how to use Amazing Marvin. But this is one that works for me. So let's kind of go into how it works. So we go to first off. There is three parts. One is the planning. So basically what I do at the beginning of the month, this is like June. So at the beginning of the month, I plan for the month. And Amazing Marvin has a monthly planner. It's one of the strategies that it has. And what I do is I go through it. So when it's a month of June, I go through and plan all the things that I want to do, the major tasks and projects that I want to do in the month, in that particular month. Now, what you're seeing right now is just a kind of an overview, say, April through September. But basically, I, you know, just you usually it will only show like June, July, maybe like three months at a time. And there are usually a lot more tasks that I have listed in here. So this is just an example. So I usually have about maybe anywhere from 15 to not about 15 tasks and some projects in the month. So I plan these. These are not scheduled. They're just a planner. This is makes a huge difference for me in terms of planning and in terms of getting things done because I can use this planner to put things there. And I'm going to show you how I come back to it in order to you know finish up work or to move things around. So basically, on the uh, if you're an amazing Marvin um, user, you know that you have a master list on this side here, and you have what's called smart list right here. I've done videos about using the smart list, so you can access your master list and your smart list of tasks and projects. So I may have all the tasks, for example, that I'm going to do for this month, some for next month. Um, I may have my my most important projects is the MIP is the most important projects. I may have my meals. I have maybe tasks with end dates. I may have tasks for a uh, pen task in there if I have those. But mainly I'm really drawing from the smart list for this month you know, the task for this month, as well as the meals and the most important projects. Those are the three uh, lists that I pull from. And all I have to do is take tasks that, you know, that appear over here and I can just draw, I can just slide them to, to the month where I want to have them planned for. So I'm just planning at this point. So I use those to get the planning done. So I plan out what I'm going to do for the month, okay? So then next, what I do is I do scheduling. So when you plan, that's not scheduled. So those those plan tasks can stay there as long as you want. You can move them to other months. But then I start scheduling for the week. So I go in, and we don't, in this particular screenshot, I don't have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, of course. But usually I'm working in for like, you know, five days. I don't try to do too much work on it. Saturday and Sunday, but for the five days, what I'll do is I will go in and schedule the the tasks that I want to do for those days, and I try to schedule Monday and evening. Now, I have a lot of recurring tasks, right, that I do, and those recurring tasks will 
those, those recurring tasks will show up on their own. So I don't have to plan those. They schedule themselves. So I have those things and also meetings, recurring meetings also that, that schedule themselves as well. So what I'm scheduling is things that are not recurring and things that are mostly in my monthly planner. So I will go into that master list, go into the smart list for the, for the you know, for the task that I, that I plan. And then I was scheduling for the days. So then those get scheduled there. So that's all you have to do. Really easy. You use the weekly scheduler strategy in Amazing Marvin to do this. And it's just really great. You can kind of get an overview of your entire week. And I can move things around. I can change the, change the date. Or I can delete it all together if I don't want to do it. All right. So then the next thing here. After I do that, I'm just going through in the daily planner. I'm just scheduling, right? I mean, I'm sorry. I'm just completing the task that I schedule. So if I come in on a Monday and you have the morning task, usually it's check mail and some other, a few other ta really quick tasks in the morning. Then my afternoon is ones that are much more uh, kind of tasks like, say, doing this uh, or what have you. So those are tasks that are a little more, more along with kind of like deep work type task in the afternoon and then the evening again is kind of light and finishing up stuff in the evening right so I divide my work up into morning afternoon and evening but there's other ways that you can divide your work up you can do it in time blocks if you want to you can do the what's the what's that called eat the eat the frog method you can do that so you can do your easiest stuff in you know the morning for example and do the hardest stuff in in the afternoon or in you know that as your day progresses there's a lot of different methods you can use but this is the one that i use there and to be honest right there that's my that's my that's my workflow i mean it's really that easy plan the month schedule the week and then just complete everything every day that's really my amazing Marvin schedule and it has worked for me in ways that no other task planner has done for me in the last 10 years and there's of course there's a lot of other tools and and strategies in amazing Marvin that I do use and you can see those videos in my channel but if you want to you know when people ask me just call general workflow on uh, how I use amazing Marvin that's it so if you have any questions uh, suggestions definitely put them in the comment section and again if you need some help with amazing Marvin I'm definitely around to do that as well and you can sign up for that and that's gonna we do it on zoom and I can you know you can re record the, the tutoring session but uh, I'll really like to help you in that area if you're interested and it's just great you know so definitely check out amazing marvin if you're still kind of looking around for a task manager i definitely highly re recommend amazing marvin it's not well known to a lot of people but i think that it is one of the number one things you can customize amazing marvin to the way that you need it to work for you and after the so the couple of years that i've been using it it is really really working for me so i hope you like this video give me a thumbs up if you do and if you're new to the channel, definitely give me a follow and I will see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.